My mother, who raised me and my sister, was a proud woman. She was a brown woman. She was a woman with a heavy accent. And her mother, Shamla Gopalan, was also the biggest influence in Kamala Harris's life. The answer is absolutely <laughs> yes, too. After the big announcement, Harris's sister wrote in a Twitter post, You can't know who Kamala Harris is without knowing who our mother was. In 1958, a precocious 19-year-old Indian, Gopalan traveled thousands of miles from her home and family to pursue a doctorate in nutrition and endocrinology in America. She soon became an active civil rights crusader while studying at UC Berkeley. But once she went there, she almost felt free. And uh, she took part in politics. She took in, she used to bring a whole series of literature, leftist literature from Karl Popper's, uh, you know, he was a great philosopher. In her book, Harris says, there is no title or honor on earth I'll treasure more than to say I am Shamla Gopalan Harris's daughter. Harris's visits to India with her mother kept her connected to her roots. Her grandfather, who had strong views on humanitarian issues, worked closely with officials to reallocate refugees. That Their conversations a had a strong influence well on her. Those walks along the beach in India really planted something in my mind and created a commitment in me before I even realized it. It has led me to where I am today. Harris's maternal uncle, Gopalan Balachandran, who lives in Delhi, tells us how the senator turns to her amma, which means mother in Tamil, for guidance even after her death. I don't have to tell her, make your mother proud. She says, what are you telling me? Everything that I do, I ask myself, would amma approve of this? Kamla in Hindi means lotus flower and is an important symbol in Indian culture rooted deep in the bottom of the river, very similar to Harris's Indian identity, which she wears on her sleeve. There's no doubt that the primary source of learning for Senator Harris was from her mother's experiences and the conversations that she had with her maternal grandfather when she visited India, which was very often accompanying her mother, or when the grandparents would visit them in America. Back to you, Rosemary.